All right. Are you scared of the square? No. But guess we're going to be walking in a square. Oh, here it is. Go to. They want us to complete it. If you have not been paying attention to how the go to function is created, then you got here and are stuck. So what I want to point out is that on all the previous activities, they've been doing it for you. You need to make sure when they give you code that you pay attention to what that code is and how it works because they're going to expect you to be able to do it on your own in the future. So, and the, we can see we're using T for our variable. So, where it says complete me, um, we're going to put in our steps. Go to always has turn to and then step distance to. It's not hard, but if you never bothered to look, you might not know. Now we're going to use a for loop. How awesome is this? For loops with functions. Think of how easy that makes our coding. So we're going to go to M and that's because we said for M and matches. Otherwise that would say go to matches, but we said for M and matches. Then we're going to grab. So for each match, we're going to go to it. We're going to grab it. Then we're going to go to the pile. We can't use P or M for pile, M is for matches. And after we go to the pile, we're going to drop. Now, if you remember how to create, always watch to see how to create the functions when they introduce new ones, but still have trouble, usually the, you missed one of the steps. So just look at them one at a time and see how you're doing. Think about how many lines of code this would be if you had to write out each step one by one.